friends, welcome to Get Your Play Online. My name is Katie, and today we're going to be use, making our very own corner bookmarks that we can use for school coming up soon. So, I'm going to show you how do you use this cool corner bookmark. So, basically, what you're going to see is that this is uh, if you unfold your bookmark that you design then if you put it on the corner of a book like say I have this notebook here and you pick a page and you want to save it you're just going to fold it over the page you want to save and then when you close the book you can see where your next where the pages that you chose so today we're going to learn how to do two cool designs and these are just some ideas of what you can do um, and I'm going to show you different ways than what I've done here so you can see that there are many ways that you can do the design these cool corner bookmarks so this one is a cute little monster that I've made and this one is some flowers um, but Today I'm going to show you how to do uh, one that you can draw with fish and another different kind of um, monster design. So what do you need for this craft? You'll need a ruler, some uh, scissors, glue, um, I'm using googly eyes for my monster but it's up to you if you want to, you could draw your monster eyes. And I'm using uh, pencil crayons, but you can use markers or whatever you choose. And then I also need some paper. Um, if you want to, you can use origami paper, but I'm going to show you how you can also use construction paper or any kind of paper that you have uh, around at your house. So I need um, four pieces of paper for this one because, as you can see on my monster, it's green, it has some blue spots and blue ears, but so um, I'm going to do blue today because I'm going to do some a bookmark with some fish on it. So this will be our actual bookmark. And then if you look closely at my monster bookmark, it has a tongue. So that's why I need some pink paper. It has some teeth. So that's why I need white paper. And then it also has um, blue spots, but today I want to do yellow spots. So let's get started. So for this first step, what you're going to need is uh, your ruler, your scissors, and a pencil. Because since I don't have origami paper, I need to make my rectangular paper into a square so that's why we're going to do some measuring to make sure that we have a square which has all the same sides with our ruler and then we're going to cut it out so I am going to take my blue piece of paper because that's the one that I've decided I want to make my um, bookmark with and I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure, if my paper is facing a uh, hot dog style, I'm going to measure the shorter edge because I don't want to cut this one. I want it to be the same size as uh, the longer side. So the longer side is the one that we're going to cut. So if I measure the shorter side of my construction paper, it is 22 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my paper facing hot dog style and I'm going to put my ruler at the 22 at the edge where my uh, shorter side starts put it at the 22 and then when it gets to the zero that is where I'm going to use my pencil whatever you want it doesn't have to be uh, a real pencil if you don't want because we're just going to cut it and I'm going to make a mark and then so if you can see I have a black mark and that's where I'm going to cut 
but I want to make sure that I cut in a straight line so I'm going to put my ruler right where the mark was and trace it so that I can cut a straight line. So as you can see, I've done my straight line and now all I need to do is cut it so that I'll have my square. Again, if you have your origami paper, then you can skip this part. But since I don't have origami paper, I'm just cutting it out so that I have a square. So now you can see that I have a square. So this is what our first step is if you don't have origami paper. But if you do, then you can skip this and now you're ready to really follow along with me. So this one square actually makes two of these bookmarks, so that's why we're going to do two. So anytime you do this craft, remember that if you're doing it, you're going to be making two. So that's how you can have some real fun and do two bookmarks and really be creative. So our first step is that we're going to fold it in half and it doesn't matter which way you fold it in half because a square is equal sides so I'm going to fold it upwards so now I have a rectangle so our square has turned into a rectangle so this is my square and now I have a rectangle and now what you're going to do is in your rectangle you're going to fold the left and the right corners to the center to make two triangles. So let's see. So I'm going to take one corner first. This is, for me, it's my right corner. And I'm going to fold it to what I think is the center of the paper. This looks to be pretty good to me. So as you can see, I still have another square left. And I'm going to fold it <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same thing so I've taken my right corner folded it to the center and now I have one triangle but I need to do the same thing with my second corner so now I'm going to fold the left corner to the center and I should have two triangles. So let's go over again. We started off with a square. We folded it into a rectangle and now I have two triangles. And if you're using origami paper you'll have some that you need to cut off because as you can see I have two triangles, but I have a little bit at the bottom. For the people that use origami paper, there will be more. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to see whatever... So, if you can see, there's a little bit right here at the edge. This I don't want. I want my triangle to be the same length on both sides. The straight part, we want it to be have no extra. So, I have to cut that little bit off. So you're going to use your scissors and if you need help remember to ask an adult so this is what I have left and then we're just going to put this off to the side because we're not going to need it anymore so now I have two triangles and this is where we're going to start cut it down the middle and we'll this is where we'll be able to have two bookmarks now so wherever you have your triangles you're going to cut it right down the middle so it's really easy to tell because they should be able to flip up so wherever they flip up you're just going to cut right down the, the middle of that And if you end up with a little extra, that's okay. See how I have this little piece? That's fine. I'm just going to cut it off and I'll put it off to the side. So now, 
we have two squares. And this is what our bookmarks are going to turn into. So now, we're going to do some more folding. So all we need is our paper, we don't need our ruler, our scissors, our glue, nothing. Okay, so now we've made a square. We're going to do one at a time and fold them, and then we'll, ha we'll be able to decorate them afterwards. So, I have my square. I need to turn it into a rectangle. So again, it doesn't matter which way you fold it, you can do it uh, like a book. You could go right to left or up and down. I'm going to do up and down, but because it's a square, it doesn't matter. So, I folded it once, now my square has turned into a rectangle, and then I'm going to do it again. Now I'm going to turn my rectangle into a square. I'm folding upwards. So now, your square has turned into a small square, so let's go over that. So, we had our square, I folded it upwards, and I made a rectangle, then I folded it again upwards, and I made a small square. So now, we have to fold it out, and you can see that my square has four little squares in it, so one, two, one, two, three, four. I have four squares. So now, for this step, we're going to need our scissors. So, when you do this, you have to cut out one square. I am going to cut out the bottom left square. So you can see where I'm going to cut because you made the line. So you want to cut the line that you have folded. So. I'm cutting the bottom left square here. Now you won't need this anymore. So now we have three squares left. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut the square, whatever square beside it you cut, you're going to cut the two little triangles that you can see. So this square has two triangles in it and you're going to cut it to just about the center but we don't want them to fall off so you want to cut a little bit before. So see where my finger is? I'm going to cut like right above that so that I don't cut it off because we don't want them to fall off because we need to fold them. So I'll start from the top where um, the paper isn't folded and I'm going to go to the middle but stop right before. So see? <coughs> see how I cut them and I have two triangles but they're not falling off. So now we can put our scissors to the side and we're going to do some more folding. So you have to see where it opens because this is going to be how it folds over the paper. So I'm going to fold the square beside it underneath the square that I have um, that I have left. So I have two triangles. The square underneath the triangles is going to have nothing done to it. And I'm going to fold it the square beside it underneath. And then I'm going to fold the triangles over top. So basically what's going to happen, I'm going to show you before we glue so that you can understand and make sure that you do it right. So what I have done I'll show you one more time. This is the square that has the triangles. Nothing is going to happen to it. It's going to have the square beside it folded underneath. So now it looks like I have a rectangle, but my two triangles are still there. Then I'm going to fold my triangles over top 
so it's a square again. But what you're going to see is that once we glue it all together, these triangles, you'll be able to have your bookmark that you can put over top. So this is how it's going to fold. It's going to be like a rectangle. So now we need to glue, because this right now doesn't really do anything. We have to glue our um, triangles on top of each other, on top of this paper, so that we can fold it and there won't be anything left. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'll just glue this square that the triangles are going to go on top of. And I'll press down for about 10 seconds or so to make sure that the glue sticks. Then, once you're sure that the triangles are glued down, you'll see that I have my second layer of triangles and I'm going to glue those triangles on top of the triangles that I just glued down. So do the same thing again. Glue the whole square. So now I have my bookmark. So I'll show you how it will stay on the page. So I have my book and I'll choose a page and you'll put it down <coughs> and you can see that it'll stay. <coughs> so you have your bookmark. So now we have folded, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, um, I have folded one of my bookmarks, so I'll put it off to the side, and we'll do the same thing again. So, again I have my square that I have made, and we're going to start again by folding it into a rectangle. folded it upwards and I made a rectangle. Then I'm going to fold it again to the left and make a square. So you can see again I have my small square. So what are we going to do again? We're going to unfold it and you can see we have the same thing that we had last time. We have our square with four small squares in it and two squares with um, little triangles. So I'm going to do the same thing again so you can follow along again. I'm going to cut the same corner that I did last time, the bottom left one. You can put this off to the side because you don't need it. So again, I have three squares and one square with triangles left. So again, we're going to cut the triangles to about the center, but we don't want them to fall off. So we're going to leave about a finger space in the corner where we don't want to cut so that they don't fall off. So I will cut my triangles. See, I have about a finger's worth of space left so that they don't uh, fall off. And I'm going to fold the square uh, with the triangles. I'm going to fold this above and then fold the square beside it underneath. So what do we have? We have our bookmark again that's opening up the same way. So, I'll 
I'll show you one more time. The square beside the one with the triangles gets folded to the triangles. And then the one underneath that square goes underneath. So it folds again like this. And you have your triangles and your square. So what do we have to do? We have to glue the triangles to the square. So I will glue the square. And sometimes you don't have to glue both triangles, sometimes you do. Obviously, we will have to glue them because these triangles have fallen off. So I have glued the first layer of my triangles again to the square. And I'll glue my second layer of triangles. If you have origami paper, it might be different. I have never tried this craft with origami paper because I like to use construction paper because that's what I have around my house. But it should be the same because um, we're still folding and cutting the same way as we would with origami paper. So, we have our two bookmarks that we've made. Same way that they unfold, they'll fold the same way. So now, we're going to decorate them. And these are just some ideas of what I've thought of when I'm uh, making my, uh, when I've made these in the past. Um, so I want to do some a fish scene so something that I think is important is that before you decorate anything you always want to test out where the bookmark is going to land on your page so you know because you don't want to have an upside down bookmark that would just be silly but again it's up to you if you want to do an upside down bookmark that's pretty cool so this I have to remember that this is how it's going to uh, land on my page so this is what it will look like when I open up so I'm going to draw my fish facing the way that it would normally face on a piece of paper so I'll draw them this way my little scene this way I'm going to start off with my fish so that we can just do some coloring um, so the first thing that I want to draw is I want to draw the sand and this is just a fun little scene that you can draw. You can draw whatever way you want. You don't even have to do this fish. You could do the flowers. I've done um, flowers on a previous bookmark that I've made. So I just did a straight line of sand on the bottom of my bookmark. Then I'm going to take a green and do some seaweed. And seaweed is a fun little swirl, so I'm just going to do some different heights of seaweed, and I'll show you up close. So the way that I draw seaweed is I just do a little swirl and make a tip, and then I put it back down to the sand. And I'm going to color in my seaweed. So you can see I have some seaweed at the bottom that I've drawn. I've drawn some sand and now I'm going to do some fish and this is where I can use whatever colors I want. I'm going to do three fish. So I'll do a purple fish, a red fish, and a pink fish. And the way that I draw fish is I do a triangle. So you can see I've done my triangle and then I'm going to draw a circle attached to the triangle. That's my way that I've drawn fish, and I think it's pretty easy, and they look like fish. So I've done my one fish. I'll do the same thing, triangle, and attach my circle to it. I've done my red fish, and now I'll do my pink fish. Triangle and circle. So you can see, this is a pretty easy and fast way to do your bookmark. Even if you want, if you just want to do this bookmark and not draw anything on it and just have a fun bookmark that you've made for yourself, 
that's cool too. It's whatever you want to do, but I think it's fun to have some creativity and show your personality and have um, a cool bookmark that you can design. Um, and I just did some bubbles, so some little circles coming up from one of my fish because I think that's a fun little thing to do. And I'll do some little circles other places because just to fill in the space. So my bookmark that I have drawn is now finished. I did some sand, I did some seaweed, some fish, and some bubbles. But if you want to do this one, this is another cool idea. I did some grass at the bottom, and this one I did it on both sides because I think that's um, a cool way. So I did some grass with just doing little lines like this. Here, I'll show you on the other side of my bookmark. So all I did is I just did little lines like this along the edge of my bookmark with my pencil crayon. And then I did some flowers, uh, some clouds, and a sun. So these are just two ways that I thought of of drawing my bookmark. You can do, there are so many other ways. You could draw it yourself, you could draw your family, you could draw your friends, you could draw a place that you like. It's really up to you. And like I said, you can also just leave the bookmark the way that you did it because sometimes a nice blue bookmark or green mark bookmark is nice too. So this is the way that I've drawn um, my bookmarks and now we're going to move on to the next one and for this step for this bookmark that we're doing um the monster for you're going to need your scissors your glue and your different colors of construction paper so i'm just going to put my um pencil crayons away And you, while I'm doing this, you can get your uh, other materials that you need. Okay, so let's start off with the tongue. So I have, did my little tongue. And before I do anything, I'm going to, again, double check on my page that I pick and I'm going to see how I have to do my bookmark because this one is a little bit more complicated with how you want um, things to show up so my bookmark is going to open up like this on my page so anything that I want uh, to see will have to be on this side on the inside of the triangle where the triangles are so I'll do um, my tongue on the bottom because even though I won't see it when I put it in my page I'll still be able to see it so my tongue should be about the same size as my square so I should uh, I will take my ruler and I will measure how big my square is my square is about five centimeters so my tongue I have to remember will be five centimeters and it will be going from the corner to corner diagonally so let's start off with the tongue I'm using pink construction paper for my tongue but really it's up to you whatever you want to do so <coughs> I will take my ruler and a pencil and I'll measure five centimeters on my paper and a tip that I have for this is if I want my tongue to be uh, straight on one end and uh, curved on the other I always start from the bottom the flat side of my uh, paper to make sure that it's perfectly straight. So I'm going to mark off on my paper where five centimeters is and then I'm going to go a little bit away from it because I don't want my black to show up on my tongue. And I'm just going to draw a straight line up to where my uh, mark is that I drew 
And then I'm going to start curving and go back down. So that's going to be our tongue. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out the tongue. And it doesn't matter if your pencil shows up because you can always flip the paper over and glue the side with the crayon or the pencil markings on it. So what I'll do is because I have some black still showing, I'm going to glue this side and then put it in my uh, bookmark. So before I glue anything down, I'm going to check one more time how I want it to um, rest. So my bookmark is going to go on this corner right here. And I'm going to glue it down like that so that when I open it up, you can see a little tongue. So I'll put my book off to the side. I'll get my glue stick. And I will glue the side with the black on it with my marking on it. And I will go from my one corner to the other corner and I will press down for about five seconds to make sure that it sticks. So now I have my tongue. So when it opens up, it'll look like a little tongue. Now I'm going to do some teeth. The teeth that I did for my other bookmark were round, but I think I want to do some triangles so that my monster has some sharp teeth instead of some brown teeth. But again, this is just some inspiration for you. Do it however you want. And my So the same tip that I said before is that since I want the bottom of my teeth to be straight, I'm going to draw my teeth on uh, the flat side of my paper. And I'm going to do, so for this bookmark, I needed three teeth on each side. I'm going to draw four teeth, so four for each side, so four times two, or four plus four is eight. So I'm going to draw eight teeth, and if I don't need all eight, that's fine. I'll just cut off one of the teeth that I did. So, I don't, it doesn't matter how big you want your teeth to be, it's completely up to you. And they don't have to be the same size, even if you don't want them to be. I did my teeth about two centimeters big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, you can see that I used the side on the bottom to make sure that all my teeth are straight on one side, and then I drew my triangles starting from there. So, again, I'm going to need my scissors, and I'm just going to cut all of these out, and then we can measure and see how many teeth we need for each side. And you don't want to cut all the way to the bottom like we did for our other triangles when we were folding because I want my teeth to stay attached so that they're easier to glue on. And then once we figure out how many teeth we need for each side, then we'll cut all the way through one of them. So see how they're attached when I'm cutting them? I want them to stay attached together.
Okay, so I have my eight teeth cut out and I'll put my paper off to the side. And because we're only using little pieces of these paper, I've only used a bit, I'm going to keep them for another craft because this is we don't want to waste all this perfectly good paper. So I'll put it off to the side and I'll keep it for another time. So this is how my teeth, uh, my thing, my ugh, bookmark unfolds. Um, and so I'm going to measure my teeth and I need, look at that. I'm going to need four of my teeth for each of the sides that I'm doing. So I'll count one, two, three, four, and I'll cut right through one of my triangles and then we don't want to glue them on the inside because we won't really see them so if you can see on the other one that I've done I'm going to glue the teeth to the edge of my bookmark so I'll do just a little bit of glue I'll glue the actual bookmark and I'm gluing the top so where I have my triangles folded down, not where I glued the teeth. And I'll do the one edge at a time with glue. And then I'll press down. I'm not gluing them all the way to the bottom of where I glued. And I'm going, and that's so you can see if I open it up, there will be teeth on the top teeth on the top, tongue in the bottom, and I'll do my second one, same thing, I'll glue the edge where I didn't glue my tongue, and I'll place my teeth you can see I have some teeth, my tongue, and I close it and it looks like he has some cool teeth. Um, so now, what we can do next, I'll glue on my googly eyes. I have a bunch of different sizes of googly eyes, so you choose whichever size you want. I'm going to use some smaller googly eyes because um, I don't have my trying my square is not that big so I have to remember that my um, the monster that I have is opening up like this so I want my eyes to be at the top on the side where I don't have my teeth but since it's a monster, it really doesn't matter. You can have as many eyes as you want. I'm choosing to do two. You could have them at the bottom if you want. Some monster's eyes are at the bottom. It's completely up to you, see? Even I did that for my uh, first monster. But today I just want my eyes to be at the top. So you can see, you can have some different ways of doing um, your monster. So. I am going to glue the top where I want my eyes to be on the piece of paper and then I'll press the googly eyes down. So that's what my monster looks like so far. And while I let that glue dry, I'm going to do some polka dots because I want my monster to have some polka dots. So I'm going to take my pencil again and I'll just do some different sizes of polka dots. I'll do a big one that's probably about the size of a dime. And then I'll do some smaller ones that are smaller than a dime, probably like the size of a blueberry. And I'll do more dots than I think that I need. So on this monster, I have four dots, but I'm gonna do uh, more than that so that I have um, room to put more dots on if I want to. So I'll do two more blueberry size polka dots. So I did 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. But I know that I probably won't need that many. Um, so I'm going to cut them out. Okay, so I've cut out all my dots, and before I move on to gluing those on, you can see that for this monster that I did, I did some, I'll call them wave horns, um, but I want to do some cooler ears. I'm going to do like, I think I want to do big circle ears like this. Like I said, it's completely up to you however you design your monster. There are so many different ways that you can do it. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the flat edge and I'm just going to draw a semicircle. And I want my ears to be really big. So I did them to be about the size of a loony in Canada. That's a $1 coin. I would say it's like the size of a quarter. If you're using American money and I'll do two ears you could do four ears if you wanted it's really up to you whatever you want to do and I'm just gonna cut those out as well before I move on to the last step which is just gluing my polka dots to my monster and then we'll be done Let's start. I'll put my paper and my scissors off to the side, and I'm going to start by gluing on my little polka dots. I'm going to glue the side that I've drawn on, and I'm going to just place them wherever I want. I'm not going to glue um, the actual bookmark because I'm just going to um, place the polka dots down, and I don't want to glue the whole thing because... I might not have enough polka dots to cover the glue. And you can choose wherever you want to put your polka dots. I'm just placing them however I feel like putting them on. My finger does get a little gluey, but that's okay. We can wash our hands after. So you can see 
on this monster i used four circles on this one i used five so again it's just up to you and however you cut the size of your circles um whatever works it's completely up to you and i want to do a little nose on this one i don't have a nose but i want to do a nose so i'm just going to draw two little lines with my pencil crayon at the bottom near my teeth and that's my nose it's really up to you and however you want to do your monster there are so many different ways and it's fun to be creative so I'm going to flip the monster over to the side that has nothing on it and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with my teeth I want my ears to be sticking out so I'm going to just glue the um, edge where my uh, where I want my ears to stick. So I think I want it to look like this. I want them to be on the side where the eyes, near the eyes. And I'm going to glue on the paper again. I'm gonna do them in the middle so they're not right next to the, um, to the eyes. So that's where one of my ears is. I'm going to do the same thing for the other ear. Glue in the middle of the square and I'm putting the side that I drew on on the glue so that I don't see the little marks. And there you have it. You have your monster bookmark. So I'm going to show you all the different kinds of bookmarks that I've done and so you have an idea. So this is one monster and you can see my second monster, they look different. I've done curvy teeth and triangle teeth. I've done some circle ears and wave ears. I did my eyes at the top and my eyes at the bottom. It's really up to you. You can be so creative with these. And then you can be creative if you just want to draw too. Like I did some flowers and for this one I did some fish. So let's look at all our cool bookmarks. I hope you had fun making these bookmarks with me. I had a great time. Use these bookmarks to do any books that you uh, use for school. And I hope you come back to get your play online for more cool back to school crafts. Have a great day.